solve the equation. So in this problem we have an equation with fractions. So in order to do this, we'll start by getting rid of all of the fractions. So in order to get rid of the x minus 2, we'll have to multiply both sides by x minus 2. And in order to get rid of the 3, we'll also have to multiply both sides by 3. So what we can do is we can multiply both sides by 3 times x minus 2, and that will clear all of the fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that carefully. So on the left-hand side, we have 3 times x minus 2, parentheses, and we have the entire left-hand side, x over x minus 2 plus 2 over 3, and that's equal to 3 times x minus 2, and then here we have 2 over x minus 2. All right, so on the right-hand side, we see that the x minus 2's cancel. And on the left-hand side, we do have to distribute. So I'm going to go ahead and show all of the steps. So it'll be this times this, so I'll just write it again, 3x minus 2. Then here we have x over x minus 2, plus, then same thing here, 3x minus 2 times 2 over 3. Right, that was this times this. On the right-hand side, we're left with 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Good stuff. All right, so now we have some cancellation. Let's see. Here we lose the x minus 2s, so we're left with 3 times x. And here we lose the 3s. So now we can distribute. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And this is equal to 6. 3x plus 2x is going to give us 5x, so we have 5x minus 4, and that's equal to 6. To finish solving for x, we can just add 4 to both sides, so plus 4, plus 4, so we have 5x equals 10, and then I guess we can divide by 5, and that should give us x equals 2. However, if you go back to the original question, which you should always do whenever you have uh, an equation with fractions, you'll notice you can't plug in 2 here. Because if you do, you get 2 over 2 minus 2. So you get 2 over 0, and that's bad. right? You can't have 0 on the bottom. So in this case, this is not a valid solution. So the answer is that there actually is no solution. So this equation does not have a solution. So always check that you can take your final answer and plug it back in. In this case, we could not, so there is no solution. I hope this video has been helpful.